Alright. So, this is my compact portal one. And I'm going to be talking to you about it, guys about this particular system some more. Um, one of which is, actually, the only thing I'm going to be talking about is the future plan, or the future plans for this machine. Um, currently, I bought a few pieces of hardware for this particular machine. One of which is a Paradise PEGA video card, 8-bit, that I'm going to be installing in place of this old compact VDU uh, CGA card. And I'm going to also be getting um, items from digikey.com. They'll also be building a logic board for this machine. For the video for the video card yeah for the incoming video card incoming video card excuse me yeah, let's serve as a purpose to solder the connections to like this uh, nine pin din connection here for the video on the red green blue there's gonna be three sets of diodes and then there's gonna be and then those three diodes are going to be bridged together as one. And then there's going to be one strain of wire. That is going to go to the um, header that I'm going to be putting on there. It's a 12 pin. Two rows of six pins. Um, I'm going to be taking two of them off because they are not needed. Anyways. Um, that way I can put it in here. And I'm going to be using one of these screw points right here. As a grounding strap for the board for the board for the uh, yeah for the board so that way uh, not for the board but as a grounding strap for the uh, video monitor itself I also ordered uh, an any an, an excuse me an XT FCC card which has a serial RS232 um, 9 pin connection so that we can hook up a serial mouse to it. It also supports high density drives such as the 1.44 megabyte hard floppy drive, the 1.2 megabyte floppy drive, as well as the famous or infamous IBM PS2 um, 2.88 megabyte floppy drive. So that way I'll be able to have not just two, uh, not just one floppy drive, not two. A three. Now, what's the third flap drive going to be? Well, look no further. I'm going to be installing this Epson SD800 in place of this three and a half inch drive. I'm going to be installing the three and a half inch drive as drive B by changing the little jumper sign. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's a jumper. Right there, it's right next. It's set to A, so the bottom drive is considered drive A, or in this case, it'll be drive B. Once I swap it, but like I said, but there is another option right here, but drive B, which was this one right here, will be drive considered. Well, it'll still be considered. Well. This will be considered drive B. Once I switch that little jumper header right here from where it says A and then to B. And then this one will be considered as drive um, C or D. Um, it'll probably be drive D because I have a Compact Flash card installed. But that might change. The Compact Flash card drive wire might change to drive D. Who knows? Um, so that is basically the future plans. I'm going to be, um, upgrading the BIOS to the patched version, so that way I can enable this, uh, RAM card here, the 
parallel porting when I'm going to enable that, set the RQ to 7, make sure it's set to LPT1, which is uh, hard hardware address C, it's 78H. And disable the serial port on here because I'm not going to need that anyways. Um, the sound card itself, it's working fine. I, found, I fixed the uh, crackling um, jitteriness by taking this wheel off and then spraying some 99.9% .9 IPA down it and then putting the wheel back on and then moving it back and forth and everything. It's perfect. And my other future plan, well, now for the uh, video board thing I'm going to do for the uh, EGA card, like I said, I'm going to go solder the uh, wires and everything, the diodes, the whole nine yards, onto a little logic board. And I'm going to go mount it right here and right here. Um, I think that's a quarter inch for, for those screws because I think, um, but... Unfortunately, I have no way of telling like how big those are. I think those are quarter inch. Um, like I said, I might as well use one of these right here as a grounding strip for the board. But it just depends on where I'm going to set it. So I might set it right here. <laughs> so that way I can use these two screws right here. And I can just like feed the wire through here. And it's screw it in somehow but um that's just going to depend on the situation per se and the other future plan is retro brain the keyboard which i put up for i don't know how long now and the only thing i need to get is some Sawing so care of 40 volume, which is 12% peroxide, and use that for the keyboard to retrograde all the keys and repair the delete key that still has a broken missing Pi 6. Apparently, the super glue that I got recently was totally dried up. I even tried putting hot water in, I tried basically everything, even a, even a lighter, nothing was working. So, um, oh, also another thing, I'll be using my crap top as the uh, Twitch streaming service, I'm using OBS, and hooking this up to my computer, I ordered another thing from TechSelect, and, well, eBay as well, I ordered a, a straight through RS-232 cable that's mail to mail. Yeah, that is mail to mail. So I'll be hooking up the video card to this, uh, to the MCE to VGA adapter. And um, I got a v I ordered a VGA to USB capture device. I'll be hooking up to the laptop. I'll be using OBS for that. That way, I'll be doing the live streams, of playing games, and stuff like that on this computer. From this computer, I will work to Twitch and everything. And have people watch and see what they like, see if they like it or not. Because I've never done something like this before. So anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for our flashing light there. So I forgot to remind you guys that there is going to be a flashing light. Um, so if you have epilepsy or seizures, please feel free to not watch this video. I'm sorry for the flashing light there.